Hello guys, welcome back into another video here on the Banjo Attic page. Thank you so much for pushing that play button. Today's going to be a little bit different of a video. I just want to show you all, I ordered a kit here a while back from Carver Banjos. It's the Americana kit uh, to build your own banjo. And I ordered it about a month and a half ago because uh, I thought it was really, 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 really neat. Well, it, the one from Carver finally come in and I just want to kind of show you all. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole build in this video. I'll kind of show you what comes with the kit and then I'll show you the end result of the banjo being finished. Um, but in this kit, it comes with a rim, uh, a steam bent rim that he apparently bends himself. Sorry, I had to peel the, the uh, bubble wrap off. But anyways, he sends you a, a, a rim. It's a steam bent rim. It's a one piece of wood. Uh, you can kind of see where it goes together right there where he pieced it together and glued it together and then of course sanded it back down which is really really nice i mean this place i've got to do some sanding work on this uh here's the neck for it and he's already laid the frets in for me uh which is really 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 nice uh the frets feel good they feel nice and smooth everything's done good finish work on the frets it might take just a just a touch of sanding not a whole lot uh, just to kind of clean that up a little bit uh, but I'm gonna take um, I'm gonna take some sandpaper and clean this neck up quite a bit where it's been where it's been machine where it's been machine routered you know just kind of take the hard lines out of it I guess you could say really and just kind of smooth it out just a little bit uh, but everything seems seems awesome this thing also comes with actual real goat skin uh, it's a real goat skin uh, head on it which is really awesome. So I'm going to, of course, mount this to it and tack it into the sides on it, and you'll see it when it gets done. And then I think you got to wet this thing and then put it down over it and pull it tight and tack it, you know, around the edges and pull it tight. But that's really cool, a goat skin. Uh, then this kit also comes with the, with the dowel rod, I guess you, you would call it. Uh, it hooks on to the neck right here. It'll bolt together like so uh, and then this will go up through go up through the 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 hoop and this will mount into the back side and that's how you set your that's how you set your angle on your neck he also sends this kit here which i'm not going to open right now because there's a lot of pieces in there i don't want to lose if i open it right now i feel like i'm going to lose it but one of the cool things is this is a friction friction tuners it is it isn't mechanical tuners it's friction tuners where you have to kind of pull the tuner out a little bit and get it in tune and then kind of press it up in there you know uh and it's got a leather uh, tailpiece strap on here it's got the strings in there uh the nuts in here uh, and then all the little you know all the little pegs that you push in so anyways guys this is just a kit i want to put together and i think it would be really cool and the next thing you'll see is this thing completely finished <laughs> we got it built Got the banjo built. It's a uh, Carver Americana banjo. Uh, my strings are probably not, um, I had to do the strings completely different up here on the pegs uh, because the way you're supposed to do them is, is, uh, is your low string uh, is supposed to go up here and it was backwards when I was tuning it and it screwed me up so I changed it all to where all the strings are like a regular banjo where they where the tuning peg is up here. So, uh, now I'm just gonna tell you all, I really enjoyed putting this banjo together. Uh, it's a really, really, really high quality, high quality item, to be completely honest with you. Now, is it a $5,000 Deering or Stelling or, you know, whatever your favorite banjo is? No, it's not. And uh, you wouldn't expect it to be, especially being in a kit form like this. But as far as being a kit form, I have to give Brian Carver freaking credit, man. This thing went together like sliced bread. It, it, everything is figured out for you. Uh, you really haven't got to do a whole lot of adjusting on it. There's a couple of things that I want to do to it just for me personally to, to kind of suit me, but I put it together just like he said to put it together. I've got the dowel rod right exactly where he said to put the dowel rod in the back. Uh, I didn't change the hole for the height on the, on the neck or anything. Uh, I pretty much put it together exactly how he said to put it together. That's that's pretty much it. I, 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 there's a couple of things just me putting it together uh, that I probably done a little a little weird, uh, which made it a little more difficult on me putting it together. Um, but that was mainly my fault for doing that. 
um, the nut on here I got it on and it's perfect the, the height of this thing uh, the the play height of, uh, is great uh, the uh, friction tuning pegs I've never dealt with them before and I'm just gonna have to say that not a big fan of them uh, I mean it's great because I wanted a banjo you know I wanted that old-timey feel the way it was you know years ago uh, back in the 1800s or whenever it was they put a lot of these banjo styles together and that's the main reason I wanted this was to have a banjo that um, was that from like somewhat that time period I know it ain't exactly like they done it, but it's pretty darn close. Um, the the goat skin on this thing uh, tightened up nice on here. I love the way it looks. I love the texture of the goat skin. Uh, there's this, there's something I'll show you here in a minute of, as far as playing it uh, that's really, really neat. But outside of that, um, and with nylon strings, and I have, I have waited till uh, this is seven days since I built it. Um, I have waited till now to make this video because I wanted to get the strings stretched out as much as I could uh, to stay in tune and I think right now still mm, still pretty good in tune uh, so anyways one thing I have not done is played it with three finger style and Maybe it's not meant to be played with three finger style. Maybe it's not supposed to be meant to be played with three finger style, so we'll hold off on that. I just wanted to try it because I was, uh, I just wanted to try it because I haven't yet, and uh, I just wanted to see what it sounded like. Um, but as far as, I mean, when you get it in tune, this banjo actually sounds, it sounds really good. It's not too overpowering, it's not too um, like in your face. But what I was gonna show you guys is like you can play down here, of course, on the head like you would normally. But what I like about this banjo is playing up here, which I ain't real good at it, to be honest with you, because it takes a whole different set of skills to play up here on a scoop neck than it does down here. Uh, and I've tried to... Uh, I can't, I can't even, but anyways, the way the, it sounds more ukulele-ish, I guess you could say, right here on the. I don't even know if I can even do this. Well, I ain't doing this no justice at all. But anyways, it takes, a, it takes a whole different set of skills to play up here in a scoop neck, and I've got to get more used, because that's what I want to do, is get more used to playing up in the scoop neck of uh, this style banjo. But as long as you're willing to keep just messing with your tuning as you're doing it, the banjo sounds awesome, especially when you're playing it. I'm sure this video is not doing this thing any justice uh, whatsoever. Anyways, I'm, I'm extremely happy with this. I'm, I'm glad I put it together. It's not going to be an everyday playing banjo kind of deal. I'm not probably going to do it. It's probably going to be on like a special occasion to pull it out and kind of show people as a as a showpiece. Uh, 
you know, the old style banjo, but I've loved the, I love the goat skin. I love the goat skin and I love the tacks, the way it looks around the edge of the, these things. Uh, the build quality that, that Brian puts into these things, I'm just gonna tell you, uh, is phenomenal. Now, I, could, I probably could have put more coats of, of linseed oil, you know, all, on all this stuff, but I really wasn't worried about it because I'm not gonna have it outside a whole lot uh, in, in the weather or whatever. It's mainly gonna sit down here in my, in my little area that I play banjo in and it's fun just to pick up and just kind of play with and and uh, just have to be honest with you so uh, I definitely recommend if, if, if you um, are inclined to want an old style banjo like this I, I highly recommend uh, getting Carver banjos and, and ordering you a, a banjo kit but thank you for watching if you've enjoyed the video please consider smashing that like button guys I greatly appreciate it with that being said we'll see you on the next video